Hello and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. We are still in the Christmas mood as you can see behind me and uh, we are having a look today at the Jaguar MK2 Saloon. That's an that's a interesting kit, interesting box art. Tamiya doesn't do many of these you know, classic cars as I would call them and uh, it's good to see they did a few and this one i know is not today's so uh, thing i mean it's it says on the box historic car series so you know it's an older kit but yeah i love that shape love the car let's have a quick look what it looks like uh, around the box yeah we have the same jaguar in red there's just the box art here we have a top view in green there you go you want to have it without the roof that gives you an idea what that looks like and there is a uh, little description about the sporty stylish jaguar mk2 saloon and uh, this is a 1959 model so i'm not sure if it has the 3.4 3.8 liter engine it doesn't really matter and uh, i think it's a beautiful beautiful kit so i think we should go and have a find quickly out uh, the history of this particular kit and once we have done that Let's have a look in the box. See you there. And here we are with the Jaguar MK2 Saloon from the Feist folks over at Tamiya. As I said, it is the historic car series. And the history, well, that is quickly told. This one is a 2005 re-pop, as we can see here. And... Uh, these are the three kits where, which have been uh, made. It has been made the original one, which we can see over here. Very nice in this royal blue color. Beautiful. That was the original kit. Came out 1995. Then they also made a racing version. Here we go. That's quite, quite something, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's quite interesting. That's cool. We'd love to have one of those as well. Yeah, and then obviously there is the one which we just had a look at. As I said, 2005 repop of a 1995 kit. So we know more or less what to expect in the box, don't we? So uh, let's see if we are right about that. And we'll pop down to the bench. See you there. And here we are with the Jaguar MK2 Saloon down on the bench. Another quick look around the box so you can maybe see a little bit better right over here. And uh, right over here. Oh, there isn't too much written on the box. Apart from that it is the historic car series. And it's in 1 to 24. Right. Let's have a look what is in that box here we go we have instruction sheet which we're going to have a look at right now we have the body we seem to have decals plastic obviously in uh, different colors interesting to look at and we have tires and pull caps and that's it, box empty. Right, let's have a quick look at the instruction sheet, shall we? Here is the Jago HG old Tamiya fold out instruction sheet as we are used to. Normal Tamiya intro, how to build a model. And then you start with the beautiful six cylinder right over here. Very nice indeed. Gives you a bit of a history of uh, the car as well here in front, which is very nice. Gives you what engines you could get, etc. etc. Right, here's the side feed carburetors, which they still had in those days. Uh, air filter, air cleaner. And uh, then we move on. More engine assembly, getting everything together, then getting the engine into the bottom part geez quite a quite a detailed um, uh, assembly here of the rear axle then 
then we have okay we get this suspension and uh, the uh, dampers in we have the exhaust installation right over here front suspension you will find down over here and there are already some uh, disc brakes I think a disc brakes in front and a drum at the back if I remember no it looks disc brakes all around oh, yeah, that also looks like disc brakes am I looking wrong here yeah so disc brakes all around here we go that's very modern we have the front suspension assembly right over here and then the installation onto the chassis we have firewall with battery and other assembly right over here I think brake and not quite sure what's in that box we have the radiator here in front here we go then we have uh, carpet templates right over here because this one comes with a carpet I don't know what it is lately on the models I lately have a carpet which actually works very nice we have the dashboard and that looks fantastic yes the old-fashioned uh, wood grain Jaguar dashboard here we go the rear seat and all the other parts which we have here it looks like in those days they had the handbrake on the right hand side for the left hand drive I know for left hand drivers it's always on the right hand side but this obviously is a right hand drive still has it on the right hand side then we have the final assemble of the interior installation of the seats well let's find where it's number 13 here we go then we do wheels wheels right over here windows right over there then there's a metal transfer for that uh, chrome stripe where the jaguar emblem goes on top here we go the same for the back a light installation and then how to get everything together on this side go lights and uh, grill then we get the body and uh, and the uh, underside together right over here and then the final steps obviously getting lights on uh, mirrors lights are on already mirrors on and the it actually has two mirrors those sexy mirrors which go onto the fender it has uh, bumpers right over here these are um, little coils if you want so little covers for the uh, rear wheels i will see if i can't put them on before i paint it i think that would be a good thing to do and uh, some chrome parts and light parts which you put on here here it gives you a color call and uh, not a color call out it gives you the body colors which it should have been carmen red old english white british racing green indigo blue opalescent silver blue and opalescent maroon and it even gives you the uh, mixing if you want to use to me a paint and this gives you the two um, interior colors you can choose from if you want to do it originally and then a little bit of the decals of which there are not too many as you might imagine as it is not a racing car and that more or less is the instruction sheet of the mk2 which is actually looks pretty looks pretty decent so yeah so uh, we saw already the decals were not millions of them but there is carpet which we saw the templates then these are the metal stripes which you can put i'm not going to take them out which you can put I use for the trim let you know how that went then we have the decals oh a friend of mine said his decals were all shot these ones look still fine for Tamiya not bad at all all these uh, Burwood which you obviously Jaguar used to use um, I don't know if it's walnut or what it is anyway and uh, instruction we have decals for the instrument panel which is always something i look for and uh, 
some other decals, markings, etc., which we use. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's put that back in. And the back as much as we can do so. Sorry about that. Just need a minute. Right. Then uh, let's have a quick look at the tires. Oh, look at that. There's a box which hasn't been stapled together. Here we go. That's interesting. Anyway, let's cut this open. And uh, take out a tire. And this looks pretty cool. It has a bit of a seam in the middle, which you might to give some tender loving care to. Otherwise, they're very nice. And there are branded Dunlops. Now, that's cool. I like that. I love branded tires. Who doesn't? Branded on both sides. So, and soft enough, which I think you can get over the uh, spiked wheels. Spoked wheels. Yeah, if you see on that side, you see it certainly needs. That seam certainly needs some attention. So, we have four of those. And we have the... Caps to install them, poly caps. Here we go. There's the name. Right, and now we go back to uh, staples. As we do. Right, let's open this up. And we first have a look at the chrome right over here. Let's get you out of the way. It's not a full shine chrome, and that's fantastic, as Tamiya does it. Just a little bit of a off-color chrome. Uh, see if you can get away with the touch-up and not de-chroming it. That would be fantastic. Otherwise, parts look very good. Very good. There doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, flash on there or any other inaccuracies obvious problems here we go here we have a white sprue with the very comfortable seats we have the steering wheel rear seat the bonnet which looks beautiful it really does uh, we have the uh, drive shaft tunnel for the inside this i would assume is a number plate holder gear lever backside of the seats we have the dashboard we are always very interested in, are we not? Here we go. And then the side panels. All the uh, levers for the windows and door openers are molded in. And then we have these two. We saw where the rear wheel covers, which go onto the body. Right. And let's have a look at this one which is another chrome and a gray silver sprue get those out right the chrome sprue has the wheels and i'll tell you what we had a look at the history and for 2005 these are pretty nice wire wheels they really are they don't need much attention and obviously the knockoffs right over here and this looks like part of the exhaust what do you think yeah probably anyway yeah it looks very good i love that it looks very very nice that's pretty very pretty then we have a look at the engine sprue which always this silver gray one is where we have the two engine halves we have the covers we have those side draft carburetors we were talking about when we looked at the instructions. We have the uh, belt assembly right over here. Some parts like distributor, etc. And uh, coil are over here. This looks like an oil cooler. Does that have an oil cooler? Maybe it does. And headers right over here. And then uh, parts and parcel of the air cooler, which is down in this corner. Right. Then we have a black sprue, there's multicolored screws in here, I can tell you that, which also has some uh, 
trans no, which has some transparent, not also, we haven't had transparent yet, which has the transparent screw in here, which I will not open up. And you see it has side windows, front window, back window, and it has the light covers, which look very, very nice. Have the right structures on there. So that's pretty cool. Rear lights. So yeah, you can you can go and have a good go at that. that one. Then we have a, a huge black sprue with the pan right over here. And let's have a look on the other side. That looks pretty much how it would look. Tank over here, spare wheel, and the underside and the strong frame right over there. We have the four disc brakes right over here. Very nice. The exhaust right over here. There you go. There is a radiator, front suspension, suspension parts. This is, I would assume, the firewall or part of the firewall right over here. Rear suspension seems to be in one piece, more or less. Part of the front suspension again. Front suspension is in parts, rear suspension seems to be pretty much assembled. This goes on the firewall as does this battery and then some other suspension parts. So this is uh, mostly suspension and brakes and it looks fabulous. Not bad at all. It is really to me a quality. It really is. I mean it is fantastic. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then last but not least We'll have a look at the body. Iconic, beautiful, Jaguar body. Here we go. Right over here. Doesn't it look good? I love this. I love this body shape. Here we go. We have uh, panel lines, which might look a little bit light. You might want to have a careful go at that and see if you can't get them just slightly deeper. Uh, as well as this one for the air intake over here. Here is the classic front. We have this one right over here. And then we have, here we go, the back side. I don't, well, there are, no. Yeah, there are very soft seams which you need to give some attention to, but oh, generally it is really, really nice. I think it's quite beautiful and uh, if you are a friend of those Jaguars you should have lots of fun building this for sure. Right, and this ladies and gentlemen was it. We had a look at the Jaguar MK2 Saloon, it is a 1959 model and I think this looks an awesome kit and we will have lots of fun building this. Let's go back up and uh, say goodbye and listen to the conclusion. And here we are back up uh, having had a look at the Jaguar MK2 Saloon from Tamiya. I really think this looks like an awesome kit. I really do. Loved how this is in here. Loved the way it has been arranged. Loved the instruction sheet. I think this will be a very, very nice kit. Nice to have a classic car from Tamiya, which will go together very, very nicely. So yes, uh, you might have guessed if you come across one, get it, get it. I'm not quite sure what they are pricing. Uh, in the UK or in the USA at the moment, Australia, Europe, no, no idea. You will have to, probably have to look on eBay. Uh, I know they haven't repopped that one for a while. 17 years uh, is this repop, and uh, the original one obviously 27 years ago. Right. Hope you uh, enjoyed this, guys. You have a wonderful time. Hope you have a wonderful or had a wonderful Christmas. And uh, I wish you all the best and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.